اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, I'm going to explain how would I know if my model is good enough. Now, a number of times I'm asked this question that what is a good model? What gets published? Now, there is no right or wrong answer, but there are a few guidelines that one can share. Now, based on my experience of publication, I've got a few steps here that one can obviously look into and make sure at least these are there in order for you to have a good model, a good start. Obviously, this does not guarantee and this is not an exhaustive list either. Now, the first thing is that whenever you design a model, make sure you've got a proper conceptualization and operationalization of the constructs. Now, if you do not define your constructs properly, then you won't be able to operationalize them. So, first of all, make sure you have properly defined the concepts and that operationalization as to how you measure the constructs is actually complementing the conceptualization. The second thing is, the relationships that you plan to assess have either empirical or theoretical or a literature support. Now, let's say there has not been any empirical study on the relationships that you plan to assess. Good enough, no issues. You need any theoretical or general argumentative support from the literature pertinent to those relationships. The third thing is, there is a specific theory to explain the relationship. Now, sometimes you do not have a specific theory. Rather, you have got arguments in the literature. Even those are good enough. And this depends on how well you explain those arguments to build your case for that particular study. Fourth thing is, do not include too many theories. Now, sometimes we've got theory for every particular relationship. So if, if we are assessing 10 relationships, we've got 10 theories. Now, this seems like that you did not dig deep into what the theory is and is there any particular theory that can help you explain those relationships. Now, make sure not to have more than three, three theories. And then even if you've got more than one theory, you should know how to integrate them, how to build your argument in your introduction and in your di discussion that the integration is actually helping you cover or make a significant contribution to the literature. Are there enough gaps? Now, for example, the relationships that you are testing, are they new? For example, the relationship of X on Y, the IV on mediator, the mediator on DV, or the mediating relationship in itself, or wherever you are studying, let's say I'm studying a particular relationship in higher education, is it a strong enough study setting that it will warrant publication? Now, my suggestion is try to have as many new relationships as possible, complemented by a new field or setting. Now, are you able to explain the concepts in the field? Now, for example, you've taken different constructs, you are assessing their interrelationship, but you haven't explained the value of the relationship as to why the relationships are important and why they should be studied in a particular setting, whereby your focus is on a particular setting. Now, your title and your abstract says that you are, you are focusing or, or your, even your introduction says that you are focusing this study on, let's say, higher education. But when you are explaining the concepts, when you are explaining the relationship between variables, you fail to explain why that particular relationship or why that particular variable is important in that particular field or setting. Now, then your model is not good enough or you aren't able to explain it properly. Are there enough study contributions now? You need to explain that what are the contributions that you are making? What new relationships are you studying? And how those relationships add to the theory? You should be able to integrate the theories as well as explain the originality of your research. Now, how would I know if I am writing in a right manner? So, what's the tip? Now, for me, the secret is how much you read. The more you read, the better it is for you to, to be able to explain all these points in your research paper. And read from quality peer-reviewed journals that are listed or that are top quality journals. The output is as good as the input. So try to read well, try to read good, try to read quality research papers and read with intent. 
do not read to understand the meaning of it read so that you understand the structure the format the arguments and how those arguments are built and where those arguments are placed in a research paper i hope this session would have helped you understand the key features the key indicators of a good model thank you very much